Now, according to, next page please, according to the Pinellas County Charter, the rules on the referendum, when there is a vote by referendum, these, the results in this, this case for term limits is supposed to be inserted into the charter and become local home rule no later than the first day of the next year, which would be January 1, 1997. Guess what, gang? It did not take place like Mandrake the Magician. Now you see it and now you don't. Now there's two reasons. What happened? It was never added to the charter. Instead, the con constitutional officers continued their suit. And under that particular verbal guise, the community was fooled thinking that they were included, but it never was. And the politicians, in their good-natured way, I believe, this is a supposition. I cannot say it's fact, and I would say many people thought it was fact. But this is how, what's the name of the game they play in New York? Three Card Monty? You know, you go down on the street and the guy starts shuttles the cards back and forth, now you see it, now you don't. Well, they played three card Monty with us, and it went very well. And unfortunately, in league with them, for some unknown reason, is the supervisor of election and her legal staff. She has a fiduciary responsibility to ensure, before anybody is put on the ballot for election or re-election, that they qualify for the ballot. She did not do her duty. She's just as culpable, in my opinion, and I have to keep saying opinion, because opinions cannot put me in jail, and they cannot stop a suit because I say an opinion. If I state a fact, they could call something legal. So. The word opinion shall be with me till death do us part. <laughs> so the long story short, on November 30th, 2000, they did vote. The county commissioners did vote to accept the ruling of the court. Well, on June 26th, well, let me... This is off the, uh, well, this isn't on, but let me give you part of the story. Prior to that, I got together with two young ladies, Beverly Billeris, the former mayor of <coughs> Toppen Springs, and Maria Scruggs, who is running for office, and myself. And I came to these ladies and I said, we have a good constitutional lawyer, and this is imperative. Let's go to court and sue these people to put this into court. Now, we didn't know exactly what we were going to do, but we still had to go forward. Our lawyer had to do his homework because lawyers just don't take clients' names and take our, our word a good lawyer who accepts your money in good faith does their homework. And while we were down there discussing and finally got the county to put this issue on the table on June 26th, we were fortunate enough to have this rendered to the courts. You know, in actuality, I'm of the opinion that the commissioners could go no further with anything they were going to do. They were going to, they were thinking with the three card monkey game, they were going to have another referendum. They were going to try to figure some way that they could stay in that lovely office that pays a hundred thousand dollars. That's counting, I think their salary is ninety thousand and change. 
and then when you throw all the goodies in, 100K is about a nice even pay. I'd like to have that gig, and that's what attracted me to Barbara. I like that word gig. I thought she was a musician dancer uh, out of Rockefeller Center, New York, having seen some of the ladies do the, the dancing up there. And that's why I wrote to her. I asked her, I think that was part of the conversation. Where did you entertain? And that's when I invited her to lunch. Well, I think you need to explain. <laughs> Because when I got up for my three minutes, I said it's a nice gig if you can get it, but the gig's up. Uh, <laughs> I did like that. The gig yeah. is up. You know, it's sort of like going to the moon. But with all these facts and figures, it consummated a reason that we should go and have a civil suit. Unfortunately, civil suits are not done on love. And I have not found the law yet that works on love. We are a long way. Tomorrow, we may have, it may be over tomorrow. There's a slight possibility because we have submitted a list of questions, and I have them here, to Karen Seal. Reason being, she was a commissioner. She made the motion to accept the referendum, and she voted to the affirmative. And yet, here we are today, and she is over her eight years. It's amazing, isn't it? It's amazing. She's the one who made the motion, she's the one who voted it, and here she's the one who's sticking it in our ear for 100,000 a year. And she sits up there, almost crying like a prune, but she has not backed down. But I think tomorrow evening may be her swan song. But we'll see, you know, my opinion. But I will be with the lawyer tomorrow, and we will find out. So, can we have the four caballeros with the yellow sign? One. What about this one? Well, there's a, we're in a quandary. If these people are illegally in office, are the things they passed legal? Oh. <laughs> woo, woo, woo. How would you like to be a businessman and come down and compete for something Emissioners uh, pads against you. Do you have legal recourse? These are questions that will come up in the very near future. How about some of the laws they passed? Just recently, as last Tuesday, somebody at the Tuesday meeting very respectfully got up and said, please, please. We beseech you. The fellow, Miss, uh, the gentleman, nearly prostituted himself, saying, "Please do not pass anything." Lo and behold, they still went forward, and you may get your chicken trains. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. Well, they were working on it. I cannot understand, and there will be many legal questions asked whether. Anything they entertained and passed while they were illegally in office will have any validity in law. That's one hell of a question. It's going to be tested because there are people out there. Also, there are people out there willing to test, because I get telephone calls, I get emails, that are willing to arrest them. They are in violation of the law, and that's a third degree felony. We can't get the incumbent sheriff to do it because he's running a hard and fast battle against the ex sheriff Rice. And he, when you mention arrest a county commissioner, it's like sticking a cattle probe in his ear. He can leap tall buildings at a 
one question. But we'll get them. What is eight and enough? You do eight years and you're done. You can stay out two years and come back, but that's okay. Everybody else does it. But you've got to hit the road, Jack. And we have four people that are available for hitting the road. And two of them are on the ballot for re-election. And the supervisor of the elections, with her lawyers, <coughs> are so moot they do not answer emails to the question, they do not answer telephone calls to the question, and I have